Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Tonight, police in Laurel County are looking for two men who they say ran from a burning home with a mother and child still inside. Investigators tell us the home caught fire after a meth lab exploded. The mother and her three-year-old daughter managed to escape without being hurt, but police believe one of the suspects has severe burns. Wendy Anaking has the details in tonight's top story. Authorities say that the meth lab that exploded in this Laurel County home was self-contained and that when it exploded, it probably caused some serious injuries to one of the suspects. What's more disturbing about this story is the fact that a small child was in this home at the time of that explosion. This home on Highmore Road is now condemned after a one-step meth lab exploded in the master bedroom. We heard some a woman screaming out for help this morning like it really sounded like somebody was trying to murder her or something. A neighbor who did not want to be identified said Rebecca Blevins was home with her three-year-old daughter at the time of the explosion. We watched her run up the road with her little girl and stuff and you could see smoke coming out from the back of the house and it looked like the kitchen was on fire. Authorities say two suspects got away after the explosion. They had no evidence of anything that they were done gone apparently when she took off running. This neighbor says she never suspected there was meth in the home. We've known him for a while and nobody had any clue that anything like that was happening. And is disappointed that someone she thought she knew was allegedly involved in such a dangerous activity. I try not to show my judgment because people make mistakes. It just hurt me more for the fact, you know, that it's her kid. Now, Rebecca Blevins was arrested and charged with manufacturing methamphetamine as well as endangering a child. Her child was taken into custody by the state. Reporting in Laurel County, Wendy Anaking, WKYT 27 News First. And that mother, Rebecca Blevins, is now in.